Hi guys, welcome to Abzeda. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a simple e-commerce app with all the main features. So let's get started. So I will start with a blank uh, page as usual. Um, I'll still need the script tag. I will have products. I'll start with maybe uh, three of them. It's better to have an array of products and also products should be objects individual products should be objects that is because a product usually has uh, many properties I'll have three first thing I'm gonna mention about the product is name uh, Apple is fine I'll have an image I'll get that somewhere and then uh, I'll have uh, the price it should should not be string I'll have it as 10 uh, currency doesn't matter now I'll just uh, concentrate on building the functionality image price let's have 11 so I'll copy the same thing grapes now for the images, uh, I may have to search for it. Um, Apple. Just get the image from somewhere. Uh, this looks good. So don't do this uh, if you're developing something. Um, you know you shouldn't be relying on uh, others' images. You should create your own or buy your own. Uh, I'm just using it for for now. Okay. I'll use something uh, better later, but for now, I'll just get from somewhere. Yeah, any um, any of these images are fine for now. Um, for a quick start, I have this. Looks good. Where is it? Okay. It's a little small, but it should be okay. All right. So we have our um, products. So let's make a list of products. So we'll have division. We'll call this uh, product list. And so we'll have an each loop. Call individual as uh, products as product, right? So we'll end the loop. Now inside, I'll have a division. Um, okay, I need the image first. Yeah, um, I can have uh, something like I can have a class called image. And here itself I'll have the background as image I'll tell you why I'm doing this because if I have the image directly image tag directly I may not be able to um, properly size it so I'm using this image okay it should be product dot image all right um, it isn't showing here because uh, I, I still have to style it. I have to give a height and width. I'll give 150 pixel. Okay, I see it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Background uh, size should be contained. Okay, background uh, position center and then uh, repeat so we see that the grapes are repeating so we should give no repeat 
Yeah, that should be fine, I think. Correct. So that's just the image. Um, we'll have the name here. Uh, maybe we'll use H2. No, H2 will be too much. What product dot name? Okay, should be fine. I'll have it in single line. So I don't have much space here since I'm all zoomed in. Now the price. Uh, for a paragraph tag that should be okay. And here I'll have product. I can't spell uh, price. Okay. Uh, I'll also have uh, the symbol, rupee symbol before that, just to make sure it's okay. So it's coming one below the other, which uh, we don't want. We want it in a side. We want it side by side, like so. We can uh, do that. Product list. I'll display this as grid. And uh, I can have a grid template columns as one of our one of our and uh, one of our. that should work. Uh, I can also shorten it by repeat three one of ours. So that that should be okay. We are missing buttons here, so we'll add that a button. To it says add to cart. Yeah, that should be okay. All right. Yeah, nothing happens. Uh, we should have uh, we have products. We should have cart as well. Okay, so we'll have it as empty for now. Now, whenever the button click happens. We will push this product, complete product, to the cart. So the way we do it is uh, on, click, impulse, add to cart, and we can call it. We can call it anything. We'll have a function called add to cart equals. So in this function, I'll just test whether it works. Yeah, it does. Now, what I will do is instead of uh, having just this, I will try to, you know, uh, send the product itself. So, so I'm sending this individual item here, and I can receive the same thing here. And I can also, I can also see. If it is a object, you won't see it, but we'll see if we are getting it. Yeah, we are getting that. So this complete Apple object is here. So now we don't need it. Now I'll push this to um, the card. So the way we can do is card dot push uh, product. Now that will work, but we know that if we want it to be, if you want the uh, swelled variables to be reactive uh, we need to use an assignment so instead we'll use card equals uh, this is a spread operator we'll have card so card will remain card and the new item added will be here right so this will be inherently reactive so if i like print that out sorry small um, yeah, so we are having it here and it is reactive. So we have a simple cart where uh, everything comes up when we click on add to cart. Now, one more thing that might cause a problem is when we add Apple multiple times, um, we get it multiple times, which may not be the thing uh, that should happen, right? We should want a property inside this Apple product 
something like quantity to increase so what I can do is I can add one more uh, property here after price for all this as quantity I'll have it as one for now now we see that the quantity is one when added you know it's, it's one when added again we should increase that to two uh, that's what we will do and for that we will we'll have to compare two objects so for comparing it's better to have an ID which is unique for uh, all these products so I'll have uh, ID for all um, I'll make it unique something like this yeah now um, when add product happens we'll go through the cart and compare whatever the products in the cart whether they are same or not whatever the new one added uh, is same or not so we can have for loop here um, let uh, item I'll call this item of cart now we can uh, console log this just to see if it's working if it is working um, yeah so we are we're getting it okay um, all right so initially it was you know there was nothing so that didn't come there so what we do is we'll compare if carts you know whatever was in cart that item dot id triple equals because we want strict equality product dot id we compare sorry then then we will only increase the uh, quantity so product dot quantity equals product dot quantity plus one okay we can uh, simplify this to plus equals one so if I add now um, it is increasing but it's adding again I'm thinking yeah here we have to assign cart to cart and then that should do it I'm guessing we'll have to return also from the loop okay let's see um, yeah yeah so that that should do it um, so it, it won't like you know when we have a return it won't even uh, go to this so all right so our cart is good now I will have a statement above as a, uh, in a p tag uh, there are uh, this would be your you know cart button or icon where you show it there are um, cart dot length items in your cart okay so when we add one item uh, so you can also like you know if you want all these items like you know if it is if you want three you can also use that by reduce method I'll show that how but for now this is enough uh, these are three items but there are you know multiples of them um, so yeah cart we can display it a, a little better way so we'll do that we'll have a division class equals cart list okay uh, now we want this as a you no know, one below the other I'll have another div class equals I'll call this cart item okay so it's a individual item so yeah I'll have each loop here each cart has item and I'll close that as well okay so here I'll have the image and I'll have a source 
uh, it's it could be item dot image and we'll close it we need an alt tag we'll have a name of it uh, name of the product as alt tag and uh, I'll have a width of uh, let it be small that should do it uh, if I add yeah it's you know this should be enough right so we are having it okay now after image we would need something like uh, quantity right we'll have uh, item dot quantity here and then uh, we'll finally have item dot price Ah, okay, so I may have to uh, display this properly. This product list. I can have the same thing for this as well. Card item. Top. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Um. Yeah, for some reason I'm unable to um, scroll down here. Maybe I'll have to zoom out. Not sure why this isn't s scrolling down. Okay, I'll have it zoomed out. So we have the card and uh, it adds all the products there. And then uh, the price isn't showing properly because um, we need to multiply that with the quantity. Uh, we'll do that. Star item dot quantity. Now, if it is one, uh, yeah, two, it is 20, 22. Okay, we'll have a total also. And after the each loop, we'll have a division. I'll have a H4 tag and uh, I need total here I'll, I'll call this total so total is not there right now but we'll calculate that so we'll have uh, yeah maybe at the bottom of this script right we'll have let total um, so total equals uh, we want it to be reactive so we don't need let like, total I think we can have uh, this declaration uh, reactive declaration uh, we'll have car dot reduce so this reduce method will have uh, uh, will take two things um, one is um, the sum so we can have it as sum this is accumulated uh, the other one is individual item we can have item finally in the function we can have uh, sum plus uh, item dot price and then comma zero we'll uh, end that okay we don't need it yeah Okay, for some reason okay so I have to um, multiply that uh, with item not quantity and forget it all the time okay so this should uh, work as expected so this is our total value so we can have it as uh, okay we'll have another or maybe here itself we can have total as this um, allow the class as total we can style that to display to the right what yeah now that went all the way 
outside but it's okay so let the total be there so this, that's our total um, I'll have the rupee symbol as well yep things looking good this is card this is this and uh, in the cart maybe I should uh, um, I should differentiate cart list so yeah I'll have it here so you can call with uh, some header from that discard but I'm not gonna do that I'll just have it in a box here um, with some padding all right so yeah it should be okay now I should need I you know in car we'll have this button you know which you can increment the product add products here itself instead of going again there we'll have that so it is uh, where is it in quantity okay so we should be able to increment or decrement quantity here I'll have it as a division instead of paragraph and inside this I'll have uh, two buttons so since buttons are um, in line so I don't have to use more style here I'll have it as a minus right it should be fine and then another button with plus let's see yeah we have that uh, when you click on it nothing happens so we'll have functions for that on click equals uh, minus item and yeah, that should be okay on click equals plus item uh, okay plus item so it says that you know the functions are not there yeah we know that we'll create const um, minus item false um, we'll have the same thing for plus item and uh, yeah we have to send the item also when we click right so we have to send the item so I will uh, make this a function you cannot send it without uh, making it a function here okay what should we send the individual item so we'll send the item and we'll receive that here item and uh, we can check if it is working console.log item which one is that minus okay yeah we are getting that so now we are doing the same function as add to cart um, we just have to go through uh, the the same code again I think we'll need this as well let's see um, so item in cart no, this should be this should not be item so we'll call this product instead of you know, calling it item even here for plus item product so, so that you know we can differentiate item product ID uh, cart quantity okay uh, let's see this should be minus ah oh, spelling is wrong now oh, when I click minus it should add okay so it should be minus here yeah I think uh, we can have the same function for minus also I mean, I mean plus also uh, here what we do is use plus yes yeah, so I think uh, that's it let's see if it works we're adding it three products we'll add some and we'll remove some okay so zero oh it goes all the way to negative as well uh, we don't want that so we'll do one thing if it is zero you know we'll just remove the complete thing so here in the product list 
uh, each product. You can have uh, a if condition. Is this? No, oh, this is not product. Not in product list. Come on, it's in card. Um, if uh, item dot quantity greater than zero, only then show it. And if okay, let's see if this show if this works. Um, yeah, fine. So this is enough. That was very simple. Anyway, um, yeah. So where is total? Where did it go? I cannot scroll for some reason. Okay. Okay. So this is this is all good. So in the next one, I will have a checkout button, and when clicked on. Um, whatever is in the card, uh, it will the total price will go to the you know um, uh, pricing section of the uh, payment gateway, and then uh, it will ask you to pay that much, and then uh, all the details should go to uh, some sort of you know uh, notes or something in the back end. You can get the details. All right, so that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.